Okay, so you all have been asking me about a diagram on how to put these together. And today it's pretty cold outside, so I started this up in my garage. Right now I don't have any air going to it. It's just strictly like a rocket stove. It's got oil dripping in it. And air is drawn through that tube right here. And also I've got a lighting port down here that I use. So when I light it, uh, there's all kinds of different ways to light it. But uh, you can add diesel fuel to your oil, put some of that in there and then light it. Uh, in this case, I just put cardboard in there and lit it through the that hole right there. And then got my oil burning hot and then that's what I got. And then my smokestack right now is putting out black now a little bit of black so now we'll tell you that if you don't have air you've got to really throttle down the oil because right now I've got more oil than it can burn because if you don't have air it's only going to burn the top layer of oil okay and so eventually if you got too much oil going in it'll just fill up the bowl and it'll start overflowing so You've got to have air to burn that oil off, which means you need less oil and to get pretty decent heat and that'll that'll make sure it burns off okay. And then uh, eventually the smoke will go away. So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add air. So I've got everything plugged in right here. I've got the small exhaust exhaust fan. That feeds air up and over. You, you guys know about that. So now I'm adding air, okay? You can probably hear, hear the air coming up. So now I've got to close. I normally would close that hole off right there, but I'm gonna leave that open just for you guys to see. And eventually what's gonna happen is because it's trying to burn off excess oil now, this smoke is going to be black. Now I had a, a fella ask me about, he's in a subdivision and he's worried about, you know, the black smoke and smoking out his neighbors. So you can get it to where it burns clean. Um, and this, I probably should have turned the air on a little sooner on this, but uh, you can like put your diesel and your oil together, light it up, and you can get it to a point where you've got pretty clean burn right off the bat. Um, and then you can burn it like in a, in a subdivision, but uh, yeah, you, you kind of have to get used to your unit. All the units are different. So this right now is trying to burn off excess oil. And obviously that's way too hot for my garage, but uh, I've got it throttled down. I've got really less oil going in there. So uh, I probably had, I got probably a little bit more of a buildup in my burn bowl than I wanted and so now it's burning off that oil and you can see it's starting to clear so eventually that, that smoke will go pretty much all, all away You'll just have clean burn and then you can keep your oil throttle down to where you want it so there you go it's clean so this actually will uh, this red will go away because that that oil over there is is not enough to keep that pot red which I don't need to be red because I've got plenty of heat here. I've only got a 2,000 square foot garage, so I have plenty of heat with just that little bit of oil. So let me show you the burn bowl. It's just the bottom of a Freon tank cut off on the bottom. It's the bottom of a Freon tank, okay? That's, that's the burn bowl. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come over here to my whiteboard and hopefully show you guys how this works. 
but that's the burn bowl okay that's the burn bowl any size tank you want and then your your tube so I'm gonna come, come over here and try to set up on this diagram I'm hoping you guys because everybody's asking me how you 